wanted to do with this loader was have all of the best features that we've had from previous loaders and make it a lot easier for people to use and at the same time make it more reliable, more consistent so that people can just put the loader on their gun, go out, play paintball and not have to worry about anything. I believe it's 10 ounces or so lighter than the original Prophecy, which is, that's a, that's a big deal. We've changed the body shells, so now when you actually slide the body shells together, they automatically locate with a tab inside the body shell, and as you slide it together, that allows it to locate and just snap into place properly. The new feed neck system, it's a one-piece feed neck system that's integrated into the drive system of the loader, so it's a lot stronger, a lot more, more robust. It's also now, with this smaller body profile, the smallest force feed loader on the market. Same as the last Prophecy, there's no tools needed for the disassembly of it, um, so you can very quickly change your battery. We also have uh, an encoder system inside it, like we have with the LTD loader, which is extremely intelligent. It allows it to understand how fast the drive system is going and how much force it's putting on the paintballs to control itself. So if there's a situation where there would have been a jam, the loader knows that, it clears the jam, it starts feeding again, you can just keep playing paintball. The uh, lid system on the Z2 is the same as we had on the Prophecy, and that is 33% larger than any of the competing loaders. That makes it a lot easier to reload when you're not looking at the top of your load and you're keeping your eyes on the, the players in the game. We've improved the back plate with a rubber membrane over where the buttons and the switch is to make sure that there's no paint or water ingress into the loader. Because of the way the pockets are actually radius to match the shape of the paintball, when it puts force on the paintballs, it's extremely gentle in how it transfers that force to the paintball. And it also means it's extremely consistent. You don't have issues with the balls not seating properly or bouncing back out of the drive system. So we end up with a very consistent, much smoother, much faster, and just as gentle paint handling loading system as we've ever had. Uh, it's by far the best loader I've ever worked on. By a long way.